people of the interwebs. Welcome back to my Let's Play Threads of Fate for Ergognica, a really good game someone cares about. I am Wandergirl108. I am failing really badly right now, and I only have 10 chances at this, so... Let's see how we do. So we're in the underground ruins trying to fight off these creepy, creepy, creepy creepers. Creepy things. Um, that apparently are happening here because Maya has completely lost her mind, or so it would seem. Dodging skeletons that are unkillable. And just generally desperately trying to save Corona from the plight of the evil dolls that have been terrorizing the entire town. Funny thing how Corona is both the name of the town in this game and the name of a brand of beer. Which I only know because my parents drank it a lot. Well, not a lot, a lot, but like... It's one of the beers that they would have to drink for special occasions or when they felt like it, which wasn't often. Uh, when I was growing up, at least. Funny story about that, I actually... <laughs> I think it was Bottles of Corona as well. When I was a kid, one, this one time, I stole my parents... Ah, uh, I'm dead. Anyway, I stole my parents, several of my parents' bottles of beer and hid them in my closet, not to drink them myself, but to prevent them from drinking it. Even though they're not alcoholics, they're, they're very responsible adults and always have been. But I just despise alcohol. I, I despise it. I hate it. I cannot stand the thought of it. I can't drink it. I, I hate its presence. I hate when it's near me. I just, I hate alcohol. I just hate it. I don't want anyone to drink it ever. Because if you think about it, alcohol is literally liquid rot. That is literally what it is. It is the result of fermentation, also known as rotting, and the juices that come out of stuff that has fermented, also known as rotted. It is literally liquid rot. That's just what it is. Why would I drink liquid rot? Oh, also, if you kick him into the doorway there... Yeah. Y you go through, and he gets all his health back, so it's completely pointless. And we can't even leave until we kill the puppets, I don't think. Okay, learning. I think I should only jump when the skeleton is about to do the third move of its combo. The stab. This guy can give me some health. So yeah, I'm, I'm weird about alcohol, but you know, considering how I act completely sober, alcohol is literally the last thing I would need. <laughs> have given me some health. Ah, I love the fireball stun lock effect. Health! Give me the health! That was not much health. Well, at least I have that and don't have to get it ever again. the whole 
Alcohol rant coming from the name of the town in this game. <laughs> Why no health? Why? Why no health? I need health! I'm doing really badly. I haven't gone on a grinding spree at any point during this Let's Play. That could be a problem. Because since I don't use the equipment augments, I just raise my base stats. I do not get very strong. without getting hit. I call that a win. Ow. Okay, a little more health to start with this time. Should be good. Help! So very little health, but still help. And last platform is this, which we do not have to kill any puppets for. Now, you could, if you hadn't gone through and gotten the magic and the rare, rare wine earlier in the game, you really couldn't have. Um, this is when you would do it, but we already got that. So, also, I don't know if this is just my eyes trying to make this look better than it really does, but if you look at the bottom of the side of the block and you look at the cracks in it, does it look to you like you're supposed to be seeing the floor through the ice, through the blue, you know, glassy ice surface, even though when you melt it, it starts to go up and shrink. So it's obviously just like a a drawn-on texture, not like a transparency effect. But th does it look like you th like that's what it's supposed to look like? As always, in the comments, please. I like getting comments. I almost never get comments because this is an undead channel, so I like getting comments. I'm gonna kill this guy just cause. Just cause he's here. It is interesting that they put an enemy here when there wasn't one the first time you go through the underground rooms. This is the only place where, instead of replacing a monster that was already there, they added one. Although, I, I, apart from, I guess, the challenge to get the platforms. But, you know, even that, slightly different. Again, jumping down the hole that should bring us right back into the room we just were in, but for some reason does not. Although I guess unless the cave is a lot longer than... That particular cave takes us a lot further than um, before. I'd like to see a map of this place. Like, even of the places we don't get to see, like of the in-between places, you know? Oh. Like, I'd love a full 3D model layout of this entire cave system. That'd be so cool. Oh, that would be so cool. So yes, this wall is still broken. And, uh... That's scene time. Here's an interesting thing. In this cutscene, the platforms aren't moving. In gameplay, they do. And in fact, their movement kind of is why, is how this puzzle works. But they don't move in the cutscene. Is that because 
they just weren't able to do that much animation? Or would it just be too weird to have Maya moving around while talking to Mint? Or... It's an interesting design choice. It always kind of stood out to me a lot more than it really should, to be honest. Um, anyway. They probably are. My head cannon says they're not, but they probably are. Yeah, th this is a bit. This is odd. This is odd for the serene, refined Princess Maya. And for once, Mint would be in the right in doing so. Also, that she didn't do the full puzzle. Like, she started out doing it, jumping on the red to the orange, but then she just jumped straight to the white. Again, interesting design choice of this cutscene. I guess there was no better way to do it. Any Making any allusion at all to the puzzle itself would have made that extremely awkward. But, okay. Anyway, more importantly, Corona's about to be burned down, and we have to run back. To be fair, this decoy was pretty serious. Like evil monster dolls terrorizing the town as a decoy. That's a pretty serious decoy. Dollmaster has wings, apparently. and Duke weren't factored into the equation. They're pretty capable fighters, too. is pretty awesome, by the way. But it wasn't enough to keep him from that.
that major relief that Bell and Duke were here to stall for time, if nothing else. That is his laughing gesture. And apparently the church bell is ringing, which is a thing that happens very rarely in this game. Ow. No. Okay, the answer to that question is no. We do not dare to fight him face to face. Here's Psycho Master's whole thing. You cannot hit him head on. If you hit him in the face, he will take no damage and he will pick you up and zap you and throw you. You have to hit him from behind. Now, it doesn't matter whether we win or lose this fight, I don't know. Or no, maybe we do have to win, I don't remember. At any rate, it's not quite an official boss fight, as there's no health bar, as you can see. Oh yeah, sometimes he'll float around to catch you so he can zap you. Razor scissors. If you want to know about uh, that, no, I've already mentioned it in this let's play, Pareidolia. Like, severe auditory pareidolia as a child. I tried to make every sound into words. And that thing Psycho Master does when he spins and sends blades out, which he's not going to do now, dang it. You can outrun him, though. It sounds like razor scissors to me. Now I can never unhear that is the thing. Now I can't remember if there is a magic that's useful in this fight. I don't think there is. I think your best bet is just to keep kicking his back. Oh! Okay, we're done. That master? No, probably not. Well, that's certainly something. Yeah, well, we gathered what he is in your eyes, Dollmaster. We don't care.
Okay, yeah, we did have to win that fight. As if we didn't already know this, but yes. So yeah, apparently we just went to sleep, or maybe we stayed up all night, who knows? Door, that door is no longer broken, how very convenient. Um. So yes, things are <laughs> yeah, stop hitting the fan and it's gonna just get bigger the next time I do anything. The next time I try to step outside this town, major things are gonna happen. That is not nearly enough money for anything. This, however, is. If only just. Yeah, Maya's Tower it's the second to last new area in the game. We're gonna have to go back to some other places as well, but it, later on. But this is the second to last new area in the game. And it is hard. It is hard. You will get stonewalled here if you don't take some time to level up extra. This is going to require grinding. Maybe not so much for me as for someone who hasn't played this a million times, but still, I am going to have to take some time off screen to grind a bit. Um, so I'm going to do that. Uh, thank you so very much for watching if you did. And I look forward to seeing you next time when things really blow up. Like, th there are no words. Just be here, please. If not for me, then for just for how awesome this is. And for the awesomeness that is to come. Alright. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching if you did. See you next time.